hey guys welcome back to another youtube channel i mean oh sorry hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel for y'all who don't know who i am my name is honey Bunt, and welcome today i'm doing another eat with me yes i'm in the same shirt and yes it's the next day um wash day is today so i'll be washing later today but today it's gonna be a eat with me while i tell you why i got fired So first, we're on a broke budget. It is tomatoes, corn, Italian, I put Italian dressing, and ramen noodles in here. I did have regular noodles, but I was too busy trying to get the cat off of me because he was biting my feet, and I dropped it on the floor, and I have a dog, so I can't just rinse it off. It's gonna be a whole bunch of dog hair everywhere. So I just threw it away. Um, so now I'm using ramen because I don't have a stove right now because the apartment, I mean, the people came out to turn my gas on and they said that they have to have a separate outlet. So the leasing office has to come in, put a new outlet, whatever. So I have to put it on a little hot plate and it takes so long to cook and I was not trying to wait any longer. Like it is maybe two o'clock now. And I've been up since 8, and I haven't ate nothing, so I'm hungry. But let's get into why I got fired. I'm not going to say the name of the place I worked. I'm not going to say any names. I will come up with names. I'm trying to avoid getting in any kind of trouble by making this video. But for y'all who know... I used to work I'm gonna say bakery I don't want to say specifically what it is because this is like a dead giveaway so I worked in a bakery type shop and I've been there for three years technically I have quit a lot of times to be fair um, because I felt like I was not getting respected and I felt like I was getting overworked and then some other bullshit happened um, Oh, sorry. And there is sausage. It's like a vegan sausage and it's like sage and apple flavor. Pretty good. But back to what I was saying. Blah, blah, blah. So this recent time, I got rehired. I didn't ask for my job back. I was basically offered it back in a way. And I took it because at the time I didn't have a job, so I was like, why not? And I knew I was going into a new GM, like with a new GM. And it's been about, so I've had five checks since I've been back. So two and a half months with this GM. So when I first came in, my check was $11 an hour. So the district manager, said she was doing 10 because I came back as not a manager so they were taking away my manager pay which I feel like now that you've already paid me that you should have kept it that I could be wrong but at the same time y'all were also training me to be a manager so you should have just went ahead and left me on the $11 not just that I feel like I should be making $11 because the people coming in are making 10 I shouldn't be on the same level as them, especially because I have experience and I've been there. But whatever. So I had spoke to it to my GM about it, and he changed it back to $11. I watched him do it, and he said he was going to let the district manager know. Now, so I, I because I saw him fix it, I assumed it was fixed. So I was getting all my checks, and I was like, okay, they've been a little low because haven't been working my hours but I didn't think to check the hourly rate wage on it because I've never had issues with my money like that um it was just a matter of them forgetting to like add tips or like you know something so when I got my last check this recent time it was supposed to be at $12 an hour when I looked at it, it was only $10 an hour. And because I've had I've had this happen once before. And they had to pay it 
pay the money on the next check. This was before I quit the last time. Before I was brought back in, basically. And I, w I texted the GM and the, and the district manager. And I was like, I'm pissed off. Like, okay, I did use three cuss words. Pissed, damn. And maybe shit. But I wasn't, like, coming at him. I was, like, I'm very, like, basically saying I'm very frustrated. Because I'm in here working my ass off as a manager. And you're paying me a newbie pay. I f feel like that's not fair. So he was, like, you're going to get a write-up because of the language. Which, to me, I don't think is fair. Because me and him had had a conversation before where I was off the clock at a different job and I cussed out my manager, like directly cussed at her. And she wrote me up and he was like, yeah, that's not fair, but you're doing the same thing. And I didn't even cuss you out. I cussed at the situation. I was frustrated. This is five checks. Y'all basically fucked me over. Well, three, cause they just fixed this recent one. But like, I feel like it's not fair. And then they're not even willing to fix it. They're not like trying to talk to me. And so I, when I was talking to the G and I have the text messages, um, I don't know how to edit it on to where y'all could see it, but if I could find it, I'm going to try my best to put in a video and just block out his name and number. But like, my thing is that you told me you're going to write me up for being frustrated for y'all messing with my money. Not only I never stand up for myself and this was me standing up for myself. Then on top of that, as soon as he told me why I was getting a write-up, he said, because of your language and your attitude. And I made, and yes, maybe I shouldn't have said this. And I was like, oh, so it's just okay for our GM to make sexual comments and cuss, not ne directly towards us, but around us. Like he had made a comment one time and excuse my language, not that I really care, but I don't know who's watching this video. Um, he had made like a joke about something. We were making white fondant and I mean, we were, we were about to microwave the white fondant, but the way it looked, we were trying to make sure it was still safe to use. And he was like, it looks like cum. <laughs> like, and I'm like, dude, like you're a GM and you're acting like this around us. Like, and he's always making sexual jokes. He's always like, like cussing. And he has like anger issues, dude, when he's mad. Cause one day somebody was like, I guess they didn't show up for work. He was like, I'm fucking tired of picking up after them. Like, y'all are fucking adults. Like, he's just always cussing around us and stuff. And I'm like, I don't think it's... Basically, when he made that comment about me getting a write-up, I basically said, so it's okay. So it's, But you're saying it's okay for our GM to make sexual jokes and cuss around us. Okay, bet. And he was like, I think we're going to have to part ways. Um, because I'm not... It seems like your attitude's not going to change. And I asked him, I was like, why am I getting fired? And he was like, you'll see your money on your next check. And that was it. Like, he didn't give me no explanation on that, which common sense, I probably know why. But you're basically mad at me for coming at you. And it's not that I was coming at you, it's because I was proving a point. I don't think I deserve that write-up. And I damn sure did not deserve to get fired. I've been working my ass in there as a manager working coming in people shifts doing first second third doing turnarounds like i work my ass off in there i do everything and just like all my coworkers said you do more than any manager in there and you're not paying me correctly like i don't think that's fair i don't know i'm gonna deal with it the legal way though because i know i was i know what happened was wrong i feel like it's wrong so I'm definitely going to talk to somebody about figuring this shit out and getting my money. It's just fucking ridiculous. And I am out here today with my dog and cat again, by the way. Don't mind it. There's poop on the floor because I forgot to pick it up, but... I had let her out this morning to poop. And then I had I had to go walk to go get my paycheck. 
in my cash from my old job the one i was just telling you about so i forgot to come out here and i probably should have cleaned it up before i'm eating but you can't smell it and i'm not really looking over there so we're outside fucking nature but mm, i don't know i think i'm gonna start doing more videos like this eat with me while I rant because I don't like having friends it's always drama and I'm very like I like to be very chill and like low key This is why I didn't want to use ramen. Because when I eat it, then I'm going to have the noodles falling behind. But I have made some... And I did not use the ramen seasoning packet, by the way. I put my own seasonings in here. Um, But... I was going to use some, like, veggie noodles. And because the fucking cat made me drop them... how to use this but yes y'all i'm struggling so bad and i'm trying to ask for help like i really am because i'm not the type to ask for help i've never asked for help i've been looking at unemployment i've been looking at food stamps i've been looking at rental assistance like i owe so much money on rent it is not that i can't afford it because i had the money to pay it well, I had half of the money. I'll say that. Um, somebody went into my bank account and moved all my like savings into the checking and sent it all the to themselves. So now I have to wait for the bank to figure it out so I get my money back. But until then, I literally have nothing in my pocket except for what I just got. And it was, what, 100 something. So that literally does nothing for me. Even though I'm not going to touch it because it's going to go to rent. It does nothing. I can't go buy groceries. I don't have a car, so I can't, like, go to the grocery store. I don't know. And then I'm getting surgery this week. And then recovery. So I don't know when I'm going to be able to go back to work. Dude, I'm struggling. Like, this, this, I'm struggling. I've hit rock bottom, but this is, like, starting to feel like a, my second rock bottom. Sorry, I zoned out. When I be in nature, sometimes I just be zoned out. Mmm. Look at my nails. Hold on. The bug bit me. Bro, they're crazy. Look, they bit me. But look. Their little press on nails. Look, like $11. Um, at Walgreens. It's Kiss brand. I can never afford to do my nails nowadays because they fucking bumped up the prices. So I just glue them on. That, and I don't like to have nails on all the time. I'll take one more bite and I think I'm done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh no, it's been a bad two weeks for me. Well, three. about Arizona's today because I was getting tired of just water but anyways um 
I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. So, like this video. Comment, let me know what videos you like me to do. And if you want me to do more Eat With Me, so on my rant, let me know. Um, and then, what else? Like, comment. Oh, hit that bell notification so you know whenever a bitch posts. And then hit subscribe to join the Honey Bun Gang. And check out all my social media down below. And your girl is out. Bye.